Good morning. This is Dr. Yonette coming to you again for our little chit chat. Chit chat, chit chat. I look forward to the time when we can bond and we can speak one and one, woman to woman, whatever you want to call it. This is our session together. And you know, today, today I'm thinking about intentions. So my 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 focus is how intentional are you in regards to achieving the goals you set for yourselves? Be it an academic goal, you wanna get an A, be it a social emotional goal, I wanna be confident in myself, be it a relationship goal, I wanna have a good relationship with my family members, or I wanna have a relationship with somebody of the opposite gender, or be it a skincare goal. You know, I've always had my skincare goal. And my skincare goal is to make sure that I take care of my skin so that I have the skin that glows and exudes confidence and exudes the kind of person I want to, the world to know me as. So I have been working on my skincare and you know that I am doing my skincare regimen daily in the morning and in the evening. And I am seeing fabulous, fabulous results from doing this. So as I work on my skincare this morning, I want to talk about intentions. How intentional are you in regards to achieving your goal? And we all know what's coming around the corner on, on Monday. Monday is going to be, hmm, Monday is going to be the love day. Like we normally say Valentine's Day. And I know a lot of you out there are married and so you have a Valentine. Or if you're not married, you're a kid and your mom or your dad is your Valentine. But what about those of you out there who are still looking, still looking for an individual that you can bond with, connect with, and really call your Valentine. Give me a second. Really, really call your Valentine. Somebody that you connect with. Somebody that you share a bond with. You know, your, your yin and ning. Or your ya yeah and ye, yeah, I'm creating some phrases here. So your your plug and socket, your 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 what we normally say your soulmate. Do you know? Do you have somebody that you call your soulmate? And if you don't, what do you do? What do you do to get to that point? To get to that point where the person that you attract the person you attract is really the person that you want to be connected with. You really connect. Um, how intentional are you in this regard? Do you just like, you become so desperate, your clock is ticking, time is running out. And so you need to get the first person who comes your way and smiles at you. You are going to just say yes to that person. Well, you know, sometimes when you do that, a lot of times when you do that, it doesn't work out. So I want to share with you today. I want to share with you today a few strategies. Let's talk. Let's talk. What are some strategies? What are some strategies that you can use to ensure that a person that you are attracting to yourself is the person that really complements complements your personality and gives you the most buck for your money to put it that way um and if you have already connected with that individual tell us tell us tell me what did you do to make sure that you connect with such a person how did that connection take place and how did it transpire i want to invite you to subscribe to my youtube page Subscribe to my YouTube page. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I want to invite you to join my Facebook page, Skincare Explosion with Dr. Yonette. 
so we can really chat we can have a time where we can share our thoughts and our ideas and i can get to know you as you get to know me better so we are talking about in being intentional about attracting the person that you would like to be with being intentional my glasses are all um sprinkled with water so let me clean it so being intentional about attracting the person that you think fit your personality attracting your soulmate because this this thing about relationship it's not a hit or miss it's about really making sure that you are doing the best you can to attract the person that best fits your personality type so here's here are a couple of, of suggestions recommendations that i want to share with you one i want you to move away from begging and wishing and praying for the right person to show up in your life you have to stop being so desperate move away from that you have in your power you have in you the power to attract a healthy relationship so number one stop begging and wishing and praying i'm not saying you should pray but stop making it your focus you need to do some things more than just that now number two i before i get to number two intending i want you to know that the ideal people begin in your heart or the ideal person begins in your heart you have to know that it's possible for you to be attracted to that person that is the ideal match for you know that in your heart and then number two you start to conceptualize the invisible people you want to attract into your life create that person create that person in your mind and let go of the perceptions about your body and the perceptions about your energy and who you what you look like just create the person you would like to be with and before i go any further i want to share that these these ideas are coming from from um information that i gathered from reading the book the book the power of intention okay so number two you want to conceptualize that invisible person that you would want to be with so in your mind create that person make that person out who the what the person looks like what a person um idolizes what's the person philosophy you know create that person before you start looking number three i want you to form a picture in your mind of meeting that person and what you would do when you meet that person now don't share this information with anybody else keep it in your mind keep it in your heart this is your secret as you create for yourself this right person that you would love to have in your heart and then act upon the inner picture share with others your desire share with others after you've created and done all the work now share your desire with others and take the path of least resistance take the path of least resistance some people create this 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 glorious um tall dark and handsome man in their minds and then they push and shove as 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 opportunities come to them don't don't try to 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 be so resistive create the path of, of least, least resistance and and go with the flow now detach this is another area that people get bogged down on and i want to encourage you to do this you need to detach from the outcome when you see the person that you think is the person for you and it doesn't work out it doesn't mean that you just clam up and say oh i am done with love valentine's day is not for me i am moving on no you know 
there's there's a saying that we grew up with that you have to kiss so many frogs before you get to your prince charming and here i'm not necessarily saying you have to literally kiss the person but at least you have to get a chance give yourself a chance to interact before you come to the conclusion before you come to the conclusion that love is not for you give yourself that opportunity so you want to dis detach dis you want to detach from the outcome things don't work out you move on move on it gives you another opportunity to meet the person that was intended or that's going to make you a good fit or a good match so here you're detaching from the outcome then you want to practice meditation you want to practice meditation are you meditating speaking to god doing whatever form of meditation that you need to do now meditation kind of clears your mind and allows you to really focus in focus in on what your intentions are so you want to practice medicate meditation and get yourself connected with who you are and what your goals are. All right, next. I want you to look look at everyone as being sent into your life to benefit you. So remember I was saying earlier, you need to detach from the outcome. In addition to detaching from the outcome, you wanna, you wanna think that, you know, I met this particular individual and he was or she was such a mess. But don't look at the situation that way. As a matter of fact, look at it as an opportunity for you to learn a particular lesson that was needed at that time. So you're looking for, you're looking at the interaction, the meeting as something that was meant to teach you, to teach you a particular lesson. So stop, stop and reflect and try to figure out the lesson that was intended in that particular situation. And then every, after you have learned that lesson, now you want to move on. You want to move on and here you're moving on to being in a state of eternal gratitude being in a state of eternal gratitude always always being grateful for all the experiences that you are having and valuing the people who have come into your life and who have impacted your life in various ways even the ones that you may consider as having a negative impact on your life now when you create all of these positive experiences in your life you are yourself are going to become more attracted to the world more attractive to the world and the people around you will see and notice your energy and as that happens it's going to be easier for people to find you attractive and for you to attract your ideal mate you here are being intentional you are being intentional about attracting the right person into your life and as we celebrate valentine's day i want you to remember try not to get caught up try not to get caught up in oh man i'm alone try to focus on you who are you where are you in this journey and how can you work towards making you the ideal person, the ideal person that will exude energy and make life better for the people you interact with. Make life better for the people you interact with, it, with on a regular basis. It's, it's Valentine's Day weekend. 
it's a time for love and joy and happiness and you can start by first just loving yourself love loving on yourself stand in front of the mirror on a daily basis look at yourself with all your imperfections with all your imperfections and assert loud and clear that i love me i love myself i love the person who is looking back at me because you actually can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself so self-love is the beginning of any form of love that you can have with somebody else i want you to also love your skin so take care of your skin take care of your body take care of what you eat what you put on your skin on your face take care of your your the times you sleep your physical exercise make you the best you so that when you go out into the world the energy that you're exuding the the joy that you bring to the people that you interact with will be irresistible would be irresistible and then you would have so many opportunities so many opportunities to attract to attract a mate that is ideal for you you have an opportunity to choose the best choose from a number of opportunities and choose the best person that would connect with you and make your life what you would have it be so today we are talking about the intentions your intentions of connecting with the right person this is dr yonette and i want to wish you a happy 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 valentine's day may the joy in your heart and the happiness and love comes from come from within and then exude to those around you